Hey guys, it's Buddha Jim, and as you can imagine, I discuss the issues you see me talk about on this channel with just about everybody in my life. Uh, that notion that we're not supposed to discuss religion and politics has never set very well with me. It's like, why wouldn't we discuss the two most important things going on? You know, why not discuss what is important? So I discuss these things, whether I meet someone in line or I, I'm sitting on the subway with them. I, I, I don't do the normal small talk very well. And if I do, instantly it goes from weather, you know, for, into global warming or, you know, that's just me. But one of the things I see a lot in doing that and, you know, most of my life has been uh, the, this tendency that people have to form an opinion based on their own anecdotal uh, experience. Now, I'm not here to say that our own experience of the world doesn't matter, it's not relevant, not that at all, but I, I try to put it in context. So I'm gonna give you an example. This uh, Veterans Day, I was discussing with a friend uh, the plight of the 265,000 homeless vets we have in this country. And she said, look, I was homeless at one point in my, my adult life. I made some really bad decisions. I lost everything. I was out on the street. As adults, we have choices to make. We can make good choices or we can make bad choices. Now think of what she did and keep in mind this is a very universal example that I experience and I'm sure many of you have experienced time and time again. And that is she took her, and this is very important, she took her interpretation of that experience and extrapolated it to 265,000 people that she doesn't know, right? We often see this with uh, racism, right? Someone will have a bad run-in with uh, a, a person, you know, I don't know, say I'm a, I'm a white guy here, so I'll say a black person, right? They'll say, you know, I was mugged by a black guy once. Okay, one person? And you're going to extrapolate that experience to an entire group of people? You know, so this is something we see a lot, in, in, you know, very often with prejudice, but it also happens when we're talking about things like homelessness or poverty or abortion or, you know, other social issues that people say, oh, well, you know, I knew this girl and she'd get abortions every other, every, uh, however often you can get abortions, uh, let's just say. You, you get what I'm saying. And so what I want you to do is think about science. For instance, the sun, right? If I go out in the morning, the sun appears to rise and it appears to set. We even still use those words, sunrise, sunset. But that doesn't, isn't what happens at all, is it? Our experience of the world and what is actually going on are two very different things. And we're, this has become very, very clear when it comes to science. Whether we're talking about solid surfaces that we think are solid and they're composed mostly of empty space, um, or the sun rising and setting, the idea that this, this planet of ours is spinning on an axis and circling around this giant nuclear explosion, and that the entire universe is expanding, is not part of our experience at all, right? And yet, it's true. It's accurate, and it's happening. And so, when we approach social phenomena, we need to use that same kind of scientific mode of inquiry, which first tells us that things aren't always as they appear. Because if our experience of the world was sufficient to interpret the world, there would be no need for science. You wouldn't need it. We could just walk around and we would understand everything just from our experience. If we saw something, we'd go, oh, I know why that's the way it is. That's not our experience of the world at all. Right? That's not the lessons that we have learned as humans. So keep that in mind when you approach these social phenomena. Don't be so quick to rush to judgment or form an opinion. We're very much, we live in a society where it seems like everybody has this need, no matter how little they know about the, a subject, to form an opinion. Oh, how do, you know, they could, it could be something uh, about a country that they didn't even know existed five minutes ago, right? A lot of people joked around about that with Vietnam. With the Vietnam War, <laughs> you know, what it, well, the, the running joke, I guess, in this country is <laughs> one of the ways that Americans learn geography is through the wars that we uh, wage. So nobody knew about Vietnam before the Vietnam War, and then here it comes, they decide to, uh, we decide to invade and occupy South Vietnam, and, oh, Vietnam, and, you know, you gotta 
now you got to have an opinion about Vietnam, even though you didn't even know existed. You know, same with many other examples, but you get the point. Things aren't always as they appear. And while our personal experience is important, certainly to us, it doesn't necessarily extend to larger social phenomena. My friend's experience of homelessness, bad decisions. Many of you shake your head, yep, bad decisions, bad decisions, yep, really. So the five-year-old homeless girl made some bad decisions. Could you explain that one to me? Do you really believe that? Of course not. Would she fall out of the wrong vagina? She, she could have chose some other parents? No, of course not. And that doesn't mean that all the adults made bad decisions either. They're larger social phenomena at work. You know, why, why do we have such a large prison population, for instance? Our prison population exploded over the last 30 years. Is that because we've just, as a people, we have the worst people in the world? that make the worst decisions more than other countries? Or are there other factors at play? I'll leave that for you to think about, but keep in mind when we're talking about these things that one, this isn't a race. I've been thinking about these things and studying them for a very long time. Not, it doesn't make me smarter than any of you. I'm certainly not a, the fastest thinker in the world. When I'm, when I'm given new information or, you know, confronted with facts that I'm not familiar with, I take my time. I think about it. I study it. I try to think about it in a larger context. And I think more of us need to slow down a little when it comes to forming opinions. How much do you know about this subject? You know, the friends I talked about uh, regarding the 265,000 homeless people, they had no idea that this was even a problem. They had no idea that this was even going on, and yet that didn't slow them down from forming opinions based on their limited experience of the world. And, you know, you, we can judge them, I guess, but that doesn't help the situation, right? It doesn't put roofs over the heads of those homeless vets or the rest of the homeless population in this country. So think about that. The sun doesn't rise, and the sun doesn't set, and the world's not as black and white as we tend to think it is. Science is a good guide. Hope you're well. Peace.